Quick one today, I have made a tutorial on this before but the sound is awful. Someone pointed out how funny a tutorial about audio is, when it's difficult to hear it. We want to adjust audio pitch over time but there is no keyframing possible against the pitch in Resolve. You may want this effect where you are editing noise damage to an old video tape. For this we must use automation. Automation allows you to play back some audio and adjust the pitch over time, this will effectively keyframe the pitch for you. To do this, set up your timeline with audio and jump over to the Fairlight page. So that you have more room to work with, zoom onto the track you want to affect with your pitch control. A good way to do this is use this zoom height function on the toolbar here. Once you are happy and can see the waveform of the audio track we need to set up the automation controls and add the pitch plug into the audio track. To add the pitch control, it is classed as a plugin. You can either drag and drop this onto your audio track from the effects library or you can go to the mixer. At the top of the mixer, in this case audio 1, there is an effect label with a plus sign next to it. Hit plus sign and choose pitch, then pitch from the drop down menu. The pitch control box will open. Keep this open, but set to the side for the moment. In the main transport controls you will see two buttons for automation control, one toggles automation on and off, this is usually defaulted to on. The other expands the automation control settings. Click to expand additional automation controls. The main things to change are touch where will change to snap. Then under enables, select plugin, as the pitch function is a plugin. On the audio track header itself you will find a drop down menu, this is really just a visual representation view which is helpful. From the drop down, select plugin, pitch, semitones. You should see a very faint green line appear, this is the representation of the semitones pitch. If you want to, you can select cents. Note, semitones and cents are values that represent the change in note, each semitone has 100 cents. Therefore an adjustment to the semitone will give a more drastic pitch change, where an adjustment to sense will be a slightly more subtle change in note. And finally, we need to select the automation button next to the drop-down menu. This primes the track for automation. You will see within your pitch controls that each control knob has a red line underneath, indicating it is ready to go. Now play your track as usual. As the track plays through you can now adjust the semitones and scents and you will see the line that represents semitones adjust as you play through and the pitch will change. Important note, when we set up the automation control we selected snap, what this does is snap the pitch back to zero after you let go of the control, but depending on your use case you can leave this as off and you will adjust the pitch manually down to zero again, if required. With snap on you can just hold the knob and then let go for it to snap back or move it back manually. When you stop the playback the automation will switch off. You can now go back and play again and you will find the adjustments in pitch are recorded and will play accordingly. So we now have our pitch adjustments, but what if I want to make adjustments? Well you can either redo it by deleting the plugin and setting it back up, or you can use some tools in the toolbar to make adjustments. Select the select range button, this effectively shows the keyframes of the line you just created. Noting that you may need to change the drop down from semitones to cents depending on the adjustments you made. You can zoom in with the sideways zoom to get a better view on this. You can now drag and hold the cursor to select one or multiple points and move them about in all directions. Say you want the pitch adjustment to happen a little further along the timeline, you can pick all the points and move it along to the side. Or perhaps you want it to pitch higher up, then you can drag the points up. You can also use the pen tool to effectively draw on your keyframe line. Select the tool and draw from one point to another, here I'm just drawing a lump. This will replace the previous set of points. And that's it, reasonably simple. Hope this helps. Please like and subscribe.